T-Mobile just launched a new satellite texting service, called T-Satellite, and it's turning heads for a few big reasons. For just $10 a month, T-Satellite offers messaging coverage across the 500,000 square miles of the US that traditional cell networks don't reach. And get this, you don't even have to be a T-Mobile subscriber to use it. That alone sets it apart from most other carrier-based features. Now, satellite texting isn't new. Apple kicked things off with its emergency SOS via satellite on the iPhone 14, later expanding it to basic messaging and roadside assistance. Google followed with its Pixel 9 satellite SOS feature, and Samsung got in on the action using Verizon's Skylo-powered system. But most of those systems require a bit of effort, you usually need to be outdoors, point your phone at just the right spot in the sky, and hope you hold a steady enough signal to get your message out. T-Satellite takes a much more seamless approach. On compatible Android devices like the Galaxy S25 Ultra, users see a banner saying you're messaging by satellite right in the Messages app. A satellite icon even appears in the menu bar to show the connection status. And, thanks to Starlink S massive satellite network, now over 650 strong. The connection is broader and more consistent than most competitors. iPhone users aren't left out either. The service works via eSIM and can run as a secondary plan on many modern iPhones, even if your main carrier is someone else. That makes it an option for non-Timobile users looking for extra coverage in rural or emergency situations. Of course, satellite messaging isn't quite as fast as cellular. Messages typically go through in a few seconds, but delays can still happen especially with photos or multimedia files. Android devices currently support sending images and audio files over satellite, with iOS support coming later this year. Another key difference, T-Satellite is expected to support third-party app data access by October. That means apps like AllTrails could potentially work in dead zones using satellite connectivity, a big win for hikers, campers, and outdoor explorers. There are a few limitations, like occasional delays, unclear connection indicators, or lack of support for satellite voice calls. And for those who've used Apple or Google's versions, some might notice T-Satellite isn't quite as polished when it comes to interface prompts and status updates. Still, the big picture here is pretty compelling. Satellite texting is becoming more mainstream, less clunky, and far more accessible. And with options like T-Satellite opening up service to people outside their own subscriber base, it's clear the competition is heating up. Thanks for joining us, and make sure to subscribe and enable notifications for more updates on this and other breaking stories.